what I'm finna do is, it's cold, my battery low. So what I'm finna do is, and it's a little foggy here, my battery low is cold, and I'm about to uh, get this car jacked up. As y'all can see, I already took the center caps off. So I'm officially about to try to try them on. So we're gonna see how this go, man. Y'all stay tuned, let me get everything in position. go man test fit for y'all what y'all think man what y'all think let me zoom out a little bit get a little cloudy what y'all think what y'all think man i did this for y'all it's freezing cold out here man i came out here just for y'all everybody can't wait to see the video like i told y'all this side see the rear drum that one ain't even actually on so that's why the jack is there i just had to put it in place because it's touching up against here so that's where the adjustable upper and lower uh, trailing arms come in in the rear. But this thing look mean, man. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Should these go on a two-door? And I paint them the same color as a two-door, the black part? Or do y'all think I should rock out on here? Now for y'all that's new, my new subscribers, I'm painting this car black. So y'all keep that in mind. It's gonna be a wet black. So do y'all think these wheels should go on here? They look damn good on here. Or do y'all think my MTW Billet 28s gonna look better on here i'm kind of undecided myself so i value your opinion man so y'all let me know what y'all think so get down in the comment section and let me know man i'm finna get up out of here we up in here freezing so uh yeah y'all let me know what y'all think man just a quick little video quick little test fit i think they look decent on there i can't wait you see how high i sit that whole side is slanted over there then things gonna have this thing sitting up like a monster truck then I got the third Gen Tierra grill on the way. For the front, y'all know I already got the uh, second Gen on the other car, on my two-door. Check out that lip back there. That five-inch lip ain't that bad on there, though. And of course, you know when I put them on, they gonna sit in more, though, because this ain't a seven. That's why I went with five-inch lips, too, because it's less modification. So once I actually get the wheel on, it's gonna be under the fender. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be under there, so it's gonna be tucking. So my boy, I done hollered at him already. He got a few cars ahead of me, so before we get this off the paint, we gonna get these wheels put on here. So we ain't gotta do no cutting after I paint the car. So, but like I said, I already chopped it up with him. I got all my parts. All I'm waiting on is him to let me know when he got a spot for me in the shop, which should be in the next two to three weeks. And I'm near. Shoot down there, let him do a little trimming for me, roll the fenders, and get them things on there, man. And he didn't done this, this is what he do. He put shit all type of rims, big rims on cars, and he do pretty good. But it ain't, it ain't gonna look the same without the chrome trim. So I won't mind with the chrome trim on there. That chrome trim just is a must, man. You know? I can't, it just look like it's factory when you got it on there with the chrome trim. They look like it came like that. So that's the look I'm going for. So I can easily chop it, hack it, and take the chrome trim off there. Then they be looking crazy. But I need all my chrome trim on there, man. So that's how we gonna rock out. But I'm, I'm, I'm done for the night, man. So Tank said he freezing. He's shaking like a stripper in church. I'm out here cold, so I'm finna get up out of here, man. Catch y'all on the next one, though. Peace.